Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I just want to do a quick little video. Um, I got a couple of these SSR relays um, to have an alternative way to run motors. Um, this is just the same motor I've been doing tests on for a little, quite a few videos. But um, so I got this set up to run on these SSRs. Uh, this is just set up for one circuit right now, but it's my little circuit I made. Um, it's basically the smaller part of my usual circuit that I run. So I have two outputs right here. Um, so I could actually run two of these to do a half H bridge. So, so if you have um, two of these circuits, you could do full H bridge uh, with these SSRs. Um, there was two that I had gotten. Um, this one's rated for 60 volts DC. This one's for 220 um, DC. Uh, I ran some tests on them and things like that. Um, this one seems to run a little smoother with the speed control, but the, it must have a little more protection circuit because um, not all that high voltage spike gets out. Um, only a small percentage. When it's at full power, it runs good. Um, but when you dim it down uh, with the pulse width modulator, um, the spikes just don't come out the same as a MOSFET. Um, this one, on the other hand, works pretty good. Um, you don't have a full range of speed like on a MOSFET but you know these are this is like twelve dollars with the heat sink and everything um, it's 25 amps and 60 volt rated so it's pretty hard to beat for that price point so but um, um the Adreno speed control uh, worked pretty good but I think maybe it's a little too high frequency I have this homemade built one that seems to work a little bit better so just gonna fire it up and you guys will be able to see on the scope and see how it does. So let's get this thing going here. So if you look at the scope, this is pretty dimmed down. It still has all the spikes and they still have the right shape and things like that. Where the other SSR had a very weird like wave motion that not everything escaped. And uh, I mean, right now we're running at, you know, five to 10 milliamps, um, or 50 milliamps, I should say, 60, 70 milliamps. So um, one thing you should know about with the pulse width modulator though, is about 50% of it um, with these SSRs um, is kind of useless. So right now we're on number six out of, out of 10, and it's just barely turning the motor. So, so it's real sensitive as I bring this up you can see the scope wave so we get up to about 300 milliamps and um, my cap dump starts working and um, we could bring it up it's just real touchy but it does work up to about half an amp right here so that's half an amp right there you can see the discharge working so half an amp and then here's the waveform and I'll just keep bringing it up some more you can see it gets real touchy so you go from about half an amp to somewhere in the middle there so not real smooth but but it does work and it's real affordable and you get up on the higher RPMs though it works real nice doing about 13-1400 RPMs using a little over 2 amps but the output's running real good though so Anyway, thought you guys would like to see that. A little different way to run a motor. I know some of the other YouTubers have been using them recently, so I thought I'd give them a try. Anyway, thanks for watching.